So if you'd like to um, take a seat, make yourself at home, and I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody. You've all been fantastic. You've really given generously. And I want to say a huge welcome to everybody as well. There's some faces that I don't recognize, and some new faces, some old faces. You're all welcome. So um, I just want to uh, start with prayer and say, Lord Jesus, just come into this place now and bless everybody here. Just thank you for everyone that's in this place. And for those that can't make it this week, that we people that we know of, we just pray their blessing, the blessings on them as well. Lord, just be with me in uh, this service today, and I might make a few hiccups, but we're all family, and uh, I'm sure that you'll forgive me. <laughs> I just pray your blessings, Lord, on everybody. Amen. So today's service is about blessing. It's about blessing other people. It's about blessing God. Um, so I'm just hoping that as the service goes on, that you'll be taking in what's going on, what's being said, the scripture that the Lord gives us, and that we can all be blessing each other and blessing people outside of here. Fabulous. Okay, so now I'm going to hand you to Bradley. Where's Bradley? Bradley's going to do today's reading, and we just thank you that Bradley is doing that. Thank you, Bradley. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you are blessed by the fa my father. Take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you, for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous would answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in? or needing clothes, and clothe you? When did we see you sick in, or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of um, these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you. So that was um, the Bible reading from Matthew 25, verses 34 to 40. And it really tells us what the Lord is saying that when we help others, we're blessing the Lord because we're working in his name. So I think I'm going to pass you now to Ruth. <laughs> it's my job to uh, lead the thank you prayers. So what have we got to be thank you about? What have you had happened this week? that you can be thank you about. Henry. I thank you for my mum being really nice. Oh, he's got a lovely mum and dad, and he's very grateful and thankful for a lovely mum and dad. How lovely. Anybody? Oh, we got one over here. Going to keep me moving this morning. That's good. Yes, I saw on Facebook. I passed my exam. Passed her exam. And it was a hard exam. Very well done. That is amazing. I'm happy about that. Your leg is healing up nicely now. That's good, Mary, because it's been a while, hasn't it? That's good. That's good. We are. Yeah. <laughs> Our visitor doesn't know why I look like that. This is my mum. What is she going to say? <laughs> uh, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's thankful for a love. Say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm very grateful this week with a, um, someone staying with me that I had a bus pass and we travelled all over Devon and Cornwall with it. So she was able to use her bus pass 
to take her visitor out lots this week. Anything else? Oh, here we are. Here's a mummy. Even though my lift is broken outside again, and I'm sort of semi-trapped and having to go down the driveway, um, I'm very thankful. Well, we are very thankful as a family that we were able to be there for a friend in need. And that's really important to be there for each other, no matter what. So even though we've got things happening in our lives that aren't easy and, and did you have a hand up? Easy and, and good. We can still be grateful that we have friends and that we can support each other. I'm thankful that everyone really cares about me. That is lovely. We do care about, we care about each other, don't we? And it's very good to say thank you to God that we've got family and friends and our spiritual brothers and sisters here to thank God for. Now, I know it will be, probably Sarah will be chatting about this a bit later, but when I get into my bed, oh, I'm so thankful that I've got a cozy bed, covers to keep me warm, and a place to sleep. I'm very thankful that when I wake up in the morning, I've woken up. Because <laughs> you'd all miss me, wouldn't you? I'm thankful that when I have my breakfast, I have a choice of things to eat and a choice of things to drink and a choice of things to wear. And I'm grateful that I have water that I can shower and bath with, that I have enough money to buy the food that I want to eat, not just what I can afford, but things that I want to have or a takeaway every so often. We are blessed with a lot, a lot of things. So we're just going to say thank you to God now for those things. Heavenly Father, we thank you that as our Father, you do indeed look after us. And we do sometimes forget to say thank you for those basic things that we have and we take for granted. Lord, we do thank you that you have provided us with um, a place to stay that is safe that gives us shelter. Lord, we thank you that we have the basic necessities that many don't of clean running water and electricity and heat. Lord, we thank you for our food. Lord, we thank you for the means to buy what we need and what we want. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. Lord, we thank you also for our friends and our family that look after us and care for us and pray for us when we have need. And Lord, we thank you for the gift that you gave us of your son, Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to um, do a little activity now. And for all the little ones that want something to do, if you would like to make up some pretty cards that we can put into a blessings bag. Now, I better explain what this blessings bag is. So we're all blessed. We've got water running in our homes. We've got something to keep us warm. We're thinking about... <laughs> he's, he's sharing. <laughs> so we're thinking about doing blessings bags that we can pass on to the homeless. So, for the teenagers, could you come and help me out, please? Come on, boys. I want you to come and give a bag to everybody, please, because we've been blessed with so much stuff. I think there's enough bags for everyone. So can you give a bag out each to everyone? Because as a community, we have come together. We've collected lots of stuff. And we want to put it together as a community. Yes, please take a bag each. Let us know if you haven't got one. That's it. Take a bag each, please. So this is going to be your blessings bag. Come on. Um, Sue's got them, I think. Or oh, somebody's got them. Ruth's got them. <laughs> so if we think about the homeless, 
What do you think they're going to need? What do you think they would like if you were left out on the street for whatever reason? And it could be different reasons why people end up on the street. If you were there, what would you want in your bag? Something to keep you warm at night. So let's do some socks because if your feet are cold, I think you're cold all over. And I know certainly when I get in bed with my cold feet, my husband has something to say and I can't <laughs> sleep. But if, if uh, my feet are warm, I'm fine. So can you come up and help me? Cause, because now what I would like you to do is to give out some socks and you're going to put a pair of socks in your bag. So we've got some men's socks there. Thank you. Can we give out some ladies' socks? We need to... Some, yeah. Okay. Now... Oh, just use my hands. I think also when... When you're homeless, you might get hungry. So I think we need to be putting some food in the bags. So can you please put some, can you put some of these around to the other tables, please? Yeah. No, I'll be all right. Thank you. Have you got another? You've got... Yes, please. It's all action go here today, isn't it? There's another lady socks. Am I allowed to take a picture of you doing this? Yes, yeah, absolutely. If that's all right with me. Um, is, is there anybody who doesn't want a photograph? Is that you, Bradley? Okay. No photo by Bradley. Okay. We want also something to freshen us up and clean us up. If we can give those out, please. Oh, Lorenzo. There you go. Thank you, Lorenzo. Oops, a daisy. Can we give those out, please? I've got some amazing helpers here. Thank you very much. I'm going to go on to... Hilary, would you like to come over? So Hilary is from Plymouth Soup Run. And I think as a token, though we'll collect them all up, up later, I would like to present to you, Thank you the blessings bags. And Hilary is going to tell us about what she does with the soup run. Okay. Is this on? <laughs> yep. Okay, so I'm Hilary. Um, I coordinate the Plymouth Soup Run. I'm sure lots of you know about the Plymouth Soup Run. It goes out every single night of the year. It's run entirely by volunteers. We go to four stops in the city. Currently, those four stops are Mayflower Street, Up on the Hoe, Martin Street, and Kings Road. We take with us soup, sandwiches, pasties, cake, some fruit if the teams can afford it. But what you need to remember is it's all voluntary. So this is truly amazing because we rely 100% on donations from people as, such as your good selves. This question is for all of you children over here. Do you think that everybody in Plymouth has a home and a bed to sleep in? No, that's right. And do you think that everybody can afford food to eat? No, and that is right. There's been a huge increase in the number of people who are homeless, a huge increase in the number of people who are now affected by food poverty. I've got the numbers on the table, but I've left them there. We feed, on average, 75 people a night. 
Wow. On a Sunday, which is my night, Sundays are really busy days for me. I've already been to Tesco's and the co-op to pick up their food that was left yesterday. Um, I feed now a hundred plus, oh, you lovely, thank you, a hundred plus people every Sunday. A hundred plus people takes a lot of food. So there's an, in, up until um, the end of July, we, oh no, end of August, we had fed or given out 26,800 meals just this year to date. There's a 15% increase in the number of people that we are currently feeding in the city. Along with the food that we take out, we take out emergency clothing, and I was explaining to the lady over on the table where I was sitting that I've actually made a set of clothing up for one of the young ladies who's street homeless for tonight because every Sunday she's been saying, Hillary, are there not more ladies' clothes? And in the end, I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to go and buy a whole set of clothes. So I've got them ready for her for tonight and I'm going to take your blessings bag as well and give to her. So that will be amazing. We also need bedding. We need blankets, we need sleeping bags. I cannot ever have enough sleeping bags. As fast as we get sleeping bags, we give them out. And you might think, okay, you gave Jack or whoever a sleeping bag last week. Why is he asking for another one this week? But if it's a particularly wet week and you've been sleeping out, your sleeping bag's drenched. Occasionally, they think they're going to make them somewhere safe to leave their stuff in the day because you can go down to Shekinah in the day and get breakfast and lunch. And then they go back thinking they'd left their stuff safely and it's gone. So, you know, we always need lots of things. But... It's an amazing service, and without all the volunteers in the city and people such as yourselves, it wouldn't happen. So thank you so much for inviting me. An amazing service to be part of, thinking about our neighbours. So thank you very much. Thank you, Hilary. I hope Hilary doesn't mind me sharing, but this morning when she saw all the things on the table, she said, this is amazing. Last week, we were down to the, our last three pound. And so I just tingle that I, this isn't enough to, for everybody that's homeless, but it's something towards it. It's something that's going to help some people. And... This is what God is saying to us, is that it doesn't necessarily have to be the homeless. It can be each other. It's about being kind. It's about helping out. Oh, no, talking about helping out. Um, this is Rocky, okay? He's from Chicken Run, if you don't know. What do you mean they've never heard a chicken run? Yeah, I know. Um, anyway, Rocky's going to help me to do something kind, aren't you? Yeah, because we like doing kind things, don't we, Rocky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, you helped the other chickens, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. You helped them to escape, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so. I was... Pardon? <laughs> anyway, so... I'm going to say a thank you to Ruth. Ruth, could you come and have a bunch of flowers, please, as a thank you? Because Ruth helped me put the service together, and she's a really good friend. And so thank you. Thank you. Now, a lady that helps me virtually every day within the church here, and I've got to say a huge thank you to her, and that's Sue. Sue, can you come and have a bunch of flowers, please, as a thank you? Yeah, I know she's special, isn't she? She's lovely. Thank you. God bless. Sue, there's a card for you, too. And... Sorry. 
Yeah, I know. So I'm going to give the last one, although actually I think you all deserve a bunch of flowers because you've all been amazing and you're all wonderful and you've been very generous, haven't they? Mm, yeah. Okay, so this one is for Chris. Why Chris? Yeah, because Chris, she helps me with finances. She pays me or she sorts out my pay. <laughs> so thank you, Chris. What? Chris is going to tell me off for spending my money. That's all right. It didn't cost much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. And you've been very helpful. Thank you, too. Okay. Oh, it's all empty. Oh, that means it's um, a nice ice bucket ready for some bubbles. Should we put some bubbles in it? Yeah, come on then. Right. So maybe we'll pass these on to the children. Yeah, there you are. There's some lovely bubbles out of my... Do you want to take some bubbles? Would you like that? Thank you. Hope, because you were very good. You used some of your pocket money, didn't you, to buy some things to, for the homeless. Thank you very much. And thank you, Rocky. So the Lord tells us that when we do things that are kind for each other, we have to share them. They're over there. We have to share them that we do it in his name. And that's how we bless the Lord. We can do things like reading the Bible. That helps us with our understanding. We can pray to the Lord. Go and share them with hope. Go and share, because sharing's good. Sharing's good. And the Lord tells us that if we do good things, kind to each other, saying thank you. If you see somebody that you know needs a bit of help, even if it's just listening to them, being there to, to help and guide them. This is all things that we can do that blesses the Lord. And we get blessed immensely. Because all these kind things that we do, it brings love between us all. And God is love, isn't he? He's wonderful. He just, he's there. He's our hope. Rocky was hope to the other chickens for escaping. God is our hope in all things in life. He, he's with us always. And when we're Christians, when we have faith, it doesn't guarantee that things are going to be perfect. They're not. We don't live in a perfect world. We live in a world where sometimes things are really good, sometimes they're really awful. But if we have the Lord in our lives, we have hope, we have his love, and he helps us through this.